<laughs> we'll get to all of that. First, though, scientists are figuring out new ways to make robots look more convincingly human. They are attaching real skin. Hang on, <laughs> it's fine. The skin was made in a lab to robots well, with a new fine. method. Nope. It's very creepy. The whole thing is very <laughs> creepy. Researchers at Tokyo University are taking their cues from anatomy. Before the breakthrough, lab-grown skin would be placed over a robot and then shrunk into place, and then they'd stick it to the robot with a bunch of hooks. But in this situation, the skin can get damaged and slide around over the top of the robot. So in people, skin is attached to stuff under it by ligaments. So to create that, researchers drilled a bunch of small holes into the robot, coated it with collagen, then put the skin over that and allowed the collagen to actually grow in place. Researchers say this lets the skin move more naturally. <laughs> Stop. This is horrific, meaning that in the future, when someone smiles at you, you may not know if they are a robot or a human, if you can't tell from this. This lab-grown skin, by the way, should be able to heal itself, which is interesting. The research was first published in the journal Cell Reports Physical Science. No. Nope. Not at Look all. Look at the cheeks. <laughs> yep. Look at how the cheeks move They're up. They're moving. Um, Dana also, by the way, swung around in her chair with a yeah. horrified expression on her this face. This is my nightmare. Um, I guess I would start with a very one one simple question. Why did the robot need skin at all? I don't also fair question. Like why not start there? Just keep it. Can we just make it look like a robot? Do you remember the thing called the uncanny valley? You ever heard of this? Where it's like if something's too if it's not super realistic but it doesn't look cartoony, it it, it it's kind weirds of us out. Yeah. And I think that's where we're about to get into Clear definition of which these. side we're on. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't know that a lot of people are asking for this. Although <laughs> yes. if we have skin that can heal itself, can we use that in humans? In a I mean different way. Right. Like maybe not on a robot. Like I'm, maybe let's Right. Yeah. Use it for that. Okay. Hard pass for all of us. Well, that's a start. Um guys